After beating the reigning champions, albeit without Chris Middleton in a blowout game 7, this is why I'm ready to predict that the Boston Celtics will win 2022's NBA title. As I've said this entire season, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are the most talented one-two punch in Celtics history, with no disrespect to the great Larry Bird and Kevin McHale, who combined to win three NBA titles. Considering young elite role players who can bail the Celtics out like Batman Grant Williams, 8 Mile Peyton Pritchard, combined with hard-nosed veterans like Al Horford and Marcus Smart, the Celtics' incredible depth is what really puts this Ime Udoka Coach 2022 roster over the top. Of course, anything is possible, but here's why you can bet on this perfectly well-rounded Celtic cast to etch their names in the Larry O'Brien Trophy this June. Before continuing, just 11% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a single upload. Also, please leave a thumbs up. It takes a few seconds. It makes a massive difference in YouTube's algorithm. Lastly, stay updated on the NBA and the channel by following me on Instagram and Twitter at DFlowHoops, and I'll follow you back. Link is down below in the description for those two platforms. Unfazed after losing Game 5 at home, head coach Ime Udoka said to the media that the L would only make it sweeter when Boston came back to win in 7. The rookie man in charge made an accurate prediction, something I'm hoping I can do in today's video, with this recording taking place as the Celtics enter Game 1 in South Beach on Tuesday night. We'll talk about Ime's defensive adjustments to help slow down Giannis, along with the exceptional role players, allowing the Celtics to win with ease when they're locked in. And I could end up being wrong with contenders like Miami, Golden State, and Dallas still remaining, but the reasoning behind the title of today's video comes down to the dominance of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, collectively. You think of them as young, relatively inexperienced players, and while both of them are still under the age of 26, JB is about to compete in his fourth career conference finals already, while JT is making his third appearance in the association's Final Four. When they zone in to find the motivating factors that drive them, Boston's one-two punch is the best duo in the NBA today. The explosiveness, shooting touch, and poise working off the dribble to manufacture open looks for themselves or their teammates with dump-offs to the paint or kickouts to the perimeter gives Boston two players capable of being the number one option to turn to when things get tense. Jason Tatum's Game 6 performance to save the Celtics' season on the road in Milwaukee gave me flashbacks of watching LeBron James do the same thing on the road back in 2012 to these very Celtics. In other words, the Celtics may have the best superstar in the league, and he's capable of dominating regardless of the situation. Having said that, the 2022 Cs are far from a two-man show, Mixing up Al Horford and Grant Williams to defend Giannis throughout this series, Coach Ime Udoka's substitutions and game planning to build up an increasingly overpowering wall against Giannis at the rim was one of the major influencing factors on this Eastern Conference semifinal showdown going in Boston's favor. The Greek freak Giannis Adetokounmpo is our game's most dominant force, and he deserves some credit for his generationally great series to push this to seven. The Celtics played one of their worst games of the season in Game 1 against Milwaukee, blowing a double-digit lead early on. Drew Holiday's unbelievable block and strip of Marcus Smart handed the Seas yet another devastating and avoidable loss in Game 5. Credit to Milwaukee for fighting their asses off, but the fact of the matter is, with the Bucks missing Chris Middleton, and with the missed opportunities in Games 1 and 5 I just mentioned, the Seas could have put this series to bed in 5 games. The most mind-blowing storyline for the Celtics in these playoffs, though, has been the breakout production from the product of Tennessee and the 22nd overall pick from 2019's NBA Draft in Grant Williams. Batman saved the day on Sunday afternoon, shockingly doing what no Celtic has ever done, which is make seven three-pointers in a win-or-go-home Game 7. For a role player to lead this team in scoring, make timely distance shots to space out the defense out of Ime Udoka timeouts, that proves to you the 6'6", 236-pound, 23-year-old isn't only unafraid of the big stage, the man uses the spotlight as fuel to his fire and is absolutely clutch. 27 points in the biggest game of the season for Grant Williams secures his reputation as the NBA's most underrated role player. Boston's high-volume playmakers, whether it's the DPOY at point guard in Marcus Smart, the top two weapons in Tatum and Brown, or even another overlooked bench contributor in Peyton Pritchard, 
who can all penetrate to break down opposing defenses, need as much spot-up shooting around them as they can get. They don't just need shooters to space it out with volume, they need execution, and consistently throughout the first round, and against Brooklyn, as well as all regular season long, that's what Grant Williams provided. He had 21 points against the Bucks in Game 2, but heading into Game 7 in the Milwaukee series, Williams was only shooting just 14 for 41 from the field overall in Round 2. That's what shocked the reigning champions so damn much in Game 7, and with how the Bucks' defense just collapses time after the other, living with the result of open threes, that allowed Williams to individually attempt 18 shots from beyond the arc, seven of them fell through, which was ultimately the driving factor on Sunday for the Seas securing their fate in the conference finals for the fourth time in six years. We mentioned his name a second ago, but Double P Peyton Pritchard hitting deep range bombs like he's Fred Van Vliet of my Raptors makes Boston that much more dangerous. But for how Al Horford guarded Giannis, and for how Marcus Smart responded after an embarrassing final minute of Game 5 with professionalism, we have to give credit to the two unsung heroes of this C's team. For a breakdown of Big Al, click the link in the description after you're done watching this. But a player who hasn't nearly been talked about enough in the Celtic uploads I've made all year long is the Defensive Player of the Year. Like Draymond Green, who we broke down yesterday, Marcus Smart is the backbone of Boston's culture, signified by his life-or-death hustle. Something intelligent that isn't mentioned about Marcus is the extra ball handling and facilitation he gives Tatum and Brown, having played with Horford, JT, and JB for a round, and for two of those guys over half a decade, it's like Smart has a second sense to where his teammates are at any given time. I tweeted it earlier in these playoffs but Marcus Smart is a heavily underrated offensive player. His interviews after getting blocked and turning it over in Game 5 were extremely professional, and even though I'm a Raptor fan who probably should hate him, he earned my respect for bouncing back and giving Boston his second best total of the playoffs at 10 assists in Boston's blowout Game 7 victory. Credit to Marcus Smart. Boston's coach for the last several years before this one in Brad Stevens was a decent coach with excellent playsets. Problem was, his mentality really didn't match the Celtics' personnel. Moving back into the role as GM, Stevens made a great hire of coaching prospect Ime Udoka, whose hard-nosed mindset and experience playing in the NBA has perfectly matched the intensity and focus of Boston's core, specifically Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Meanwhile, as GM, Stevens made a deadline deal to go out and get yet another ball handler in Derek White, who owns the Celtics' best plus-minus in 2022's playoffs, other than Tatum and Horford. Another amazing deadline pickup for Brad was making the stretch five and solid defender in Daniel Tice a Celtic for the second tenure of his career. With the Time Lord Robert Williams getting hurt, Tice has beautifully filled in for him while providing Big Al with the proper rest. With more than adequate but exceptional depth and star power, that's why the Celtics are my personal pick to achieve the ultimate glory in 2022, but I could be wrong. In your opinion, why or why not is this Boston's year? Best answer down below in the comments. Guest next video shout out. Top 5 commenters by June 21st. Receive free NBA merchandise this summer, so leave your take on today's question to compete at Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is Thierry. Appreciate every answer. I hope you have a great one. D-Flow signing off.